guys how are you all doing i hope you guys are doing great hello this video is for some of you that request and you want to know how to be a, a nurse here in germany so if this is the type of topic you would like to hear please sit it down in the comment section i'm ready to guide you guys from the beginning to the ending of your nursing career okay okay my name is cherry i'm a single mom of four living in germany and at the same time working at the hospital for 16 years in germany so in today's video guys i'm gonna guide you and tell you how to be a nurse how to enter a nursing school here in germany how you go about it till you enter your nursing school in germany so if this is the type of video like you you like to to watch please sit down let's go here so guys if you would like to be a if you would like to be a nurse here in germany these are the things that you needed to do okay let me start with my own i joined my nursing school because i went here to school i went to germany school i make my optional abschluss after doing my optional abschluss i cannot use that um, uh, result to go to the um to the normal nursing school, I cannot use that result to go to the um, Gesundheitung Krankenflug, which we call nursing. So the only way I have to do, I use that result to start my nurse helper, which we call in Germany Krankenflug uh, Helferin. So I use my Opschula Abschluss. Opschula Abschluss is like class 9 here in Germany. So with that result, the first result here in Germany that you can use to do an occupation, but you cannot use it to do a better occupation. You can use it to do all these small, small occupations that will give you 1,300 um, salary, 1,500 salary, IS, okay? So that the first result I made here in Germany, which was um, optional absolute. <clears throat> so without optional absolute, as I was saying, I cannot use it to go to the normal nursing school, to the, uh, to the biggest nursing school. So I have to start somewhere else. So I start by using that optional absolute. I apply to be a nurse helper in a, in a nurse helper school, which I, um, I did one year nurse helper school. After that, I graduated. I graduated as a nurse helper and I worked two years after working the two years, I find out that I can go to school again. If you want to know, if you want to watch the full video of this story that I'm telling, it's one of my first video on my page. Where it's one of the first video on my page where I titled it "How I Struggle to Be a Nurse in Germany." So I don't want to explain all those things that are on that video, but how I struggle to be a nurse in Germany. I was a immigrant and I was also a single mother with two kids by then. Okay, so this is I don't want to charge, but if you want to know a lot. On that video, I really, really explain detail. But let me just cut it here, okay? So the video cannot be long. So what I did was, after my uh, my optional absolute, I used that result to go to a normal, to go to a nurse helper school. So I did my nurse helper, which is which was one year. After that, I graduated like like I graduated as a nurse helper. With that result. After graduating, I started working at the hospital where I was doing my practical. Day. So they took me immediately because they were seeing the, the, the passion in me. They know that I love my job. I was doing a very good job, even though that was my first time I worked at the hospital for one year. But because of that, they allowed me to work there with my nurse helper results. So I used that um, nurse helper result. I worked for two years at that same hospital. Then I applied to a, another nursing school because I wanted to upgrade. I, I don't want to stay as a nurse helper because I know, yeah, the language was so difficult, but I know I have this passion of my job and I know I can do more because I wanted to be a nurse, so I know I can do more. So I use that um, nurse helper result so with um uh, yeah with my two years um, um certificate that i've worked i have a working experience two years working experience i apply at the normal nursing school like the cracking schwester which we call cracking schwester now we are no longer called cracking schwester for some years now they change it from cracking schwester to gesundheit und cracking pflege that the way they pronounce nursing now in germany okay nobody is pronounced if they wrote on your badge cracking schwester it means you are a very 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 old country schwester more than 20 years now remember i just graduated as a a um in country flagger 10 years ago so now for but 
I have a very good contact with my teachers those days. So some of the people, some of the from some of my Sierra Leone people that I know that went to this nursing school, let me tell you how they did their own. Some of them, yeah. Some of them they they apply. This is a real source because I gave some of them this idea because I have to call at my school. They gave me what they tell they tell they told me what to do. Then I would tell them that you should do this and this, do that and do that. So some of this nursing, um, some of the my colleague that graduated that they didn't go to school here so you must not go to school in germany before you can be a nurse i was just fortunate to go to school here in germany before i become a nurse but you can also be a nurse in germany without you going to nursing school here in germany so i just explain my own story so you guys can understand because i don't want to explain those people's story that you think maybe is the same way i went known i my own Documents are, are all made from Germany. I start my roots of nothing from Germany, not from Africa. So how I help some of these people, the information I gave to them, the information I gather from my school. So I so if you're here in Germany, you want to enter your nursing school, you want to be a nurse here in Germany, how are you going about it? And you don't want to go to school, you don't want to, you don't want to do this optional like absolute education here, you don't want to go to school here. So how are you doing? How are you going about it? So just send in Africa, let them bring your class, your, your result from Africa, like which result? The result has to be up to class um, from five, from three, from four results okay when they bring them here you will take this result and i will i will tell you a city where you can go and translate this result okay it's called Kern. i will spell it here because maybe the pronunciation is a bit you will send this result to a state that called Kern. when you send this result here they will translate it and they will they will try to look the, the, to, to see if it is a result that um that is up to up Shula Absolus or we are Shula because actually if you want to go direct to the three years course of nurse you have to do real Shula Absolus not up Shula Absolus okay but even num actually even up Shula Absolus you are allowed to enter the normal nursing school but a lot of people today will do this um habitual you know after doing the habitual they don't want to go to college they just want to do nothing that's the reason why all the nursing school they uh, they take first the people that have habitual then the people that have um real shula before they think about somebody that is having up shula so if somebody told you that going directly to a nursing school a three years nursing school Optula is not correct. It's a lie. Let the person watch in the nursing constitution here in Germany. With Optula Absolute, you are allowed to do a nursing three years nursing course, like a registered nurse here in Germany. But it's because of a lot of kids that went to and do this um, abitur. Abitur means here A level. Then uh, Riachula mean O level and Optula mean like, um, you know, Beke. Beke, how do we people call it in Africa? Beke, you just pass your Beke. So these are the three stages. Okay. So now, let your parent, let your people send you a result from Africa that shows that you are from Form 5 or Form 6 or Form 4. So when they bring this result, they have to compare it in this city they call Kern. When they compare this result, when they compare this result, we, they will send you the, 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 the original. They will tell you that, okay, this is your form six result. It, it, it occupied, it's equivalent to real shulam or it's equivalent to up shulam. So when they sent it to you, you take this your result and then don't forget, make sure you learn make sure you have a B2 certificate before having a B2 certificate you have to have a BI certificate first so so you use that your B2 certificate which is I think it is a six month course I don't know because I, I never do those days when I was schooling we don't have this thing that they call B I S R I S. we are not we are, we are not having them so I don't know much about those B I S and R I S. but you have to have B I S because these are the people that have heard they went through these things so from them i know a, i also know their own way how they become a nurse so you use this your bits right plus this wizard that they have translated in turn you use both of them and take them to any nursing school and apply for a nursing school they will take you it's not a magic it's not a magic okay so let me just summarize everything again. Take your Bayes Bayes five result from from and from the results they sent you from Africa. 
let them translate it but that is why you have to be up to from six or from five in africa you should have went to school up to from six or from five in africa when they bring it let them translate it when they translate it they will send it to you so the translation in the in that reason they will the translation one will be either they said you are optional absolute or you are actually or or habitual okay so anything they they, they they write there you will just say that reason plus your best five result and apply in any nursing school and believe me they will take you do you know why they will take you germany is looking for a lot of nursing we are short of nursing here in germany they are looking for nursing every part of nursing and nursing is not only working at the hospital we have different types of nursing we have we have different types of nursing I'm going to make a video about this different type of nursing because even that I'm talking to you, I the time I was the time I went to school, my nursing school, by then you can either go to a nursing school or you go to you, you can either go to a Gezun type on Kranken Flager nursing school or you go to a Alton Flager or the Alton Flager nursing school. But as but as I'm talking to you now it's no longer the same but i still have an idea because we have a lot of students and um, of course i have a lot to, a lot to do with the students so i can tell you the type of nursing that is here now but i'm not going to talk it here in this video i'm going to make another video about it now i just want to tell you guys how to do your nursing school how you should enter this video is only to tell you guys how to enter in your nursing school it's very very easy very easy if you don't want to go to school here just go and learn your bay try and let them send you your, your a level certificate your a level result in africa or your o level result in africa when you bring them here just translate it take these two both results your bay eyes and your a level result that they have translated take them to any nursing school they they are going to take you so while you're doing this process while you are doing this process, if you want to, if you want the nursing school to be more easier for you, while they are doing this, while you are processing your result to take your result from Africa to bring it here and um, translate it because it takes time. Translation takes time sometimes from six to eight week, eight weeks, sometimes from four to six weeks. So it takes time before they when you when you send it to Kern to translate it, it takes time before it comes back home. So by then, let me show you a secret what what you should do if you want the nursing school to be more easy for you so the secret that you should do if you want the nursing school to be more easier for you while you're waiting on this paper go and apply to do a practical in any um, um, in any Altenheim old people's home or in at the hospital so so that you you will know the basic or not you will know some time so go and do a practical to know how to do some of these things to know how to for example, I have to call some materials you need to know about the hospital, you know, how approximately because every hospital has its own way of doing things a bit. But if you are at this hospital, you have already learned some items, how they call them, how they call the items. Believe me, when you go to another hospital, it's almost it's the same. It's only it's only maybe the rules is different. So do use that opportunity instead of you to stay home. Use that opportunity to take those um, um to go and do a practical. At that practical, they will not pay you. They will not pay you. But go and do it so you you will not get um suffer. So you will not suffer when you enter your nursing school. At least you know something. You know approximately about the flavor you know approximately about how to call some words in german some items how they call them in the nurses term some sickness and all this stuff how to measure blood pressure even though you're not going to allow to measure blood pressure but like if you see a nurse or a student a nursing a nursing student is measuring blood pressure you can go and watch if they don't if they have enough time they can even cheat you they will not allow you to measure a patient blood pressure because you are not you are not allowed but they will cheat you at the office that come let me show you how to measure so in case in the next six months you enter your nursing school let me show you how to measure blood pressure let me show you how to measure temperature let me show you how to do this you know you you just follow so you get a lot of ideas so by the time you start your school everything gonna be more easier for you because you know but if you said you want to wait till everything was sign out you started your nursing course today and today is what today exactly today and today you want to learn 
you want to learn the thing. Say you're gonna learn it because you are determined to learn, but it's gonna be a more it's gonna be more difficult for you. Guys, my English is not too that perfect, but I hope you guys understand exactly what I'm trying to say. If you have any question that you want to know, anything that you want to know about nothing, state it down in the comment section. I'm ready to give you guys any reply, anything you ask of. I'm going to give you exactly if it's about nothing, okay? And I'm going to make sure that I try to give you the best and the correct information, not to give you the wrong information because it makes no sense. Me coming here talking about nothing and give you the wrong information. I will never give you the wrong information, okay? But what I'm at the end of this video, I'm just encouraging you if you're here in Germany and you have not started an occupation. Even if you are 45 years old, do not be afraid to go and start your nursing school. Even if you are 50 years old, do not be afraid to go and start your nursing school. I remember um, I was in my nursing school, yeah, the real nursing school. I was there with a lady that is almost 50 something. You know, that lady has went um, to pension. She has went, she has, she has went to pension since. Because she just, when she graduated, she just needed like a three years more to work at the hospital and then she can be, she can go to pension, which we call here renter. So, you know, let's start doing like this white people. But do not say, oh, I am too old, I don't want to learn. No. And even if you are at your pension, you, you are allowed to work also. You are allowed to work. If you don't want to go early pension, you can go late pension as long as you are fit to work. If you are not, you can even do a part-time job, which is like for not, it was before it was 450. Now it's 500 and something euro. So imagine you getting your pension money plus this 500 and something euro. It makes life more easier for you. As we all know, things are very expensive these days. Maybe that pension money will not do for you. So even if you are 50 something, do not be ashamed. As long as you are determined, sacrifice these three years and go your do and go and do your nursing school. Okay. Okay, if you guys have watched this video up to here, I have nothing to say but to thank each and every one of you that are clicking my video, each and every one of you that are watching me, that are leaving beautiful comments, that really need more information. I'm here to give you more information. If you come across the video, don't hesitate. Just leave your question. I'm going to answer you. If I didn't answer you immediately, I will do it the next following days because as you all know, I'm so busy. Thank you all my beautiful people. I want to say bye.